Gather round, my fellow adventurers, for tonight we delve into the depths of one of Middle-earth's most fearsome creatures, the werewolves. Bred from the savage wolves of Beleriand in the First Age, these beasts were infused with an evil spirit, imprisoned by none other than the Dark Lord Sauron himself. Imagine the terror of facing a creature spawned from such darkness. Unlike the werewolves you may be more familiar with, these werewolves had no human form. Drogluin, the sire of all werewolves, roamed the cursed watchtower of Tol in Gauhoth, once held by Finrod Felagund. Amidst the perilous pursuit of the Silmarils, Baron found himself ensnared by the malevolent grip of Sauron, captured and confined within the dreaded fortress of Tol in Garhoth. He faced imminent doom. Yet, in a heroic display of sacrifice, Finrod Felagund, Beren's steadfast ally, valiantly fought against the savage wolves of Sauron, losing his own life to preserve Baron's but fear not, for heroes arose to challenge these abominations. As Luthien, accompanied by Juan, the Hound of Valinor, stormed the gate to rescue Beren, Sauron unleashed his fiercest wolves, led by Dragluin, but Juan's jaws were swift, vanquishing each foe. Remembering the prophecy of Juan's demise by the mightiest wolf, Sauron transformed into a monstrous beast, seeking his own glory. Yet. Luthien's magic cloaked Sauron in weariness, allowing Juan to seize him. With a commanding voice, Luthien forced Sauron to relinquish control of the tower, lest Juan end his existence. Defeated, Sauron fled in the guise of a sinister vampire, his pride humbled by their valor. Yet, even in death, Dragluin's legacy lived on, for after the fall of Tol and Gorhoth, where Juan defeated both Dragluin and Sauron, Morgoth's thirst for vengeance knew no bounds. Driven by spite and malice, Morgoth sought to unleash a creature of unparalleled ferocity, a beast crafted for one purpose alone, to slay Juan, the Hound of Valinor. And so, Karcharoth was born from the foul lineage of Dragluin, the progenitor of all werewolves. Fed on the flesh of elves and men, this monstrous creature grew to become the greatest wolf to ever tread upon the soil of Middle-earth. Set as a guardian at the very gates of Angband, Karsharoth stood as a sentinel of terror, his jaws dripping with the blood of his victims. And it was there, amidst the shadows of Morgoth's fortress, that his path intertwined with that of Baron and Luthien. Their encounter with Karsharoth would become a pivotal moment in the quest for the Silmarils, a trial by fire that would test the very limits of their courage and resolve. Using the pelt of Dragluin, the very creature that had inflicted such grievous wounds upon them, they embarked on a perilous journey into the heart of Angband. Suspicious and vigilant, Kasharoth confronted the disguised Baron, sensing treachery in the air. But Luthien, with her enchanting magic, momentarily subdued the beast, allowing them to proceed. Luthien's enchantment subdued the beast, allowing them to gain entry to Angband and steal the Silmaril. But as they fled without disguise, and before Luthien could rekindle her enchantment, the ferocious beast descended upon them once more at the gates. In a moment of desperation, Baron offered forth the captured Silmaril, hoping to ward off the inevitable. Yet, in a cruel twist of destiny, the wolf's jaws closed around Baron's hand, severing it from his wrist with a single savage bite. Baran's sacrifice had set in motion a chain of events that shook the very foundations of Beleriand. Karsharoth, driven mad by the burning agony of the Silmaril within him, became a relentless force of destruction, his insatiable thirst driving him southward through the land. As the land trembled beneath his monstrous tread, the people of Beleriand cowered in fear, for he was a terror that spared none. He earned the name Anfoglir, meaning Jaws of Thirst, a harbinger of doom for all who crossed his path. But in the shadow of despair, heroes arose. Beren, King Thingol, Bileg, Cothalion, and Mablung united with Juan the Hound, their resolve unyielding as they embarked on the perilous hunting of the wolf. In the heart of Doriath, amidst the shadows of ancient trees, Karsharoth's reign of terror met its end. 
The Valiant One clashed with the monstrous wolf in a battle that shook the very foundations of the forest. In a final, fateful exchange, the wolf and the hound claimed each other's lives, leaving behind a scene of chaos and sorrow. Both Baron and Juan, mortally wounded, succumbed to their injuries. As the dust settled, Mablong, with a heavy heart, dissected the fallen beast, revealing the Silmaro clutched tightly by Baron's lifeless hand, a grim testament to the cost of their quest. Thus, Kasharov, in fulfilling his dark purpose, met his demise, claiming the life of Juan, the noble hound of Valinor. And if you would like to hear more about Baron and Luthien's quest for the Silmarils, please let me know by giving this video a like. Until next time, fellow adventurers, may your journeys be filled with bravery and valor. Krug, out.